Next to you, Lori Milroy with Kurdistan 24. Thank you, General. Uh, you were just in Erbil and met with President Barzani. Could you tell us about that meeting? Um, uh, yes, I was in Erbil and I met with President Barzani. What did you dis uh, did you just could you tell us something about what you discussed with him? Um, well, well, we discussed the war. Uh, we discussed the Talafer operation. Um, we discussed Mosul and Mosul security. And we discussed a, a range of other topics, uh, most of which uh, I'm a partner on, but not the lead for. And so I'll, I'll let others talk about those topics. Are you satisfied with the contribution of the Peshmerga to the war? About, about the war. Uh, yes, I think I heard your question. Am I satisfied with the contributions of the Peshmerga towards the war? Yes. So uh, p people probably don't have a good appreciation for this, but uh, I certainly do. Um, the Peshmerga were instrumental in stopping the onslaught of ISIS in uh, 2014 and 2015. Uh, across much of northern Iraq, it was the Kurdish Peshmerga who held the line. Um, and so they've been holding that line uh, ever since for three years. And um, I think people kind of lose sight of that. It seems like the Kurds aren't doing anything. <laughs> They're defending still across hundreds of kilometers uh, of Iraq in contact with ISIS every day. Um, I saw them do incredible work uh, for the liberation of Mosul, especially for the initial stages of Mosul. Uh, they, uh, they coordinated very effectively and constructively with the Iraqi security forces. Uh, and they allowed the Iraqi security forces to stage for the attack uh, in Kurdish-held uh, areas. Uh, the Peshmerga then made the initial attacks to advance the flight uh, towards Mosul, the forward line of troops towards Mosul, and allow the Iraqi security forces to close with the city and make their assault into the city, their breach into the city, without loss prior to actually getting to the breach point. These are uh, very uh, in, uh, key accomplishments. They also liberate a number of towns and villages around uh, Mosul from ISIS. Uh, since then, uh, they have been uh, containing uh, Talafer, for example, in the Hoesia pocket. Uh, for nine months. And now, most recently, in the Battle of Talafer, uh, I mentioned earlier uh, that they've killed somewhere between 130 or 170, um, and with some loss to Peshmerga. Uh, there were ISIS attacks on their uh, defensive line to try to break out from encirclement out of uh, Talafer. Uh, some of these attacks involved um, women, female suicide bombers. Uh, who killed Peshmerga, who were, who were trying to let uh, the women and children escape, and instead uh, I, uh, female ISIS suicide bombers exploded themselves and killed the Peshmerga soldiers. They've he held a stalwart defense there north of Talafer and have shaped the battlefield there and attrited the escaping enemy to a significant degree. So I'm, uh, I am pretty happy with uh, the contributions of the Peshmerga, and there'll be more. Uh, contributions as we look towards uh, Hoeja, which is contained uh, to the east entirely by the uh, Kurdish Peshmerga. Thank you very much, sir.